the squirt, hitting those dishes with everything she has. She's consistently diving in the bottom of the dark and greasy water to search for knives and forks. Dish water splashing around terrific rate all over Mrs. Drudge. That rubber apron isn't much help now. She's splashing so hard it's getting all over me, and it's a little dangerous attempt to give a blow-by-blow -blow account of what's going on in that dish pan. There's a lot of action over here. She's mopping up with a towel to get the water some of the dishes she dried a few minutes ago. That water in the pan is an awful messy looking sight, folks. I wish you could see it. Incidentally, in the entire operation, the dishwasher would use a total of only 15 quarts of water, which is a lot less than Mrs. Drudge has used. And now over here, Mrs. Drudge. Mrs. Drudge washes dishes just like Tom. That water's not coming out, and remember, folks. Takes him an hour to wash so the plate. The heated dishes. Then he usually drops when that door is open. I mean, he gets more water on the floor than on the dishes. That's why I never let him help me anymore. Mrs. Drudge, come on. Now I know he's smarter than you. Mrs. Drudge, come on, please. Hurry, Mrs. Drudge, before it's too late. That water's coming out very fast. Too late. There's the last drop of water, folks. The contest is over in exactly seven minutes and 58 seconds. In that time, Mrs. Martin has washed 50 dishes and 40 pieces of silverware. As I... Well, it's all over, Mrs. Drudge. You may as well rest now. <laughs> as I said before, ladies and gentlemen, this contest is going to be scored on three counts. First, the time it takes to do the dishes. Unquestionably, Mrs. Martin wins on that score. Second, the cleanliness of the dishes. They are clean, they are dry, and sparkling. They do honor to any woman's table, so Mrs. Martin wins point number two. Her dishes are certainly cleaner. And now, point number three, the condition of the contestants. Mrs. Martin looks as fresh and neat as when she stepped into the ring, while Mrs. Drudge, well, I'll have to leave that to you. And so, ladies and gentlemen, I give you the winner, Mrs. Martin. <laughs>